Dream Tale, written by Joker Block, reading by Teach Tale. Long, long time ago, where the foundation of the universe was on its primary stage, we already had knowledge about the existence of three vital trees for the life of every being of any universe. The tree of life, the tree of mana and the tree of feelings. They were vital for the existence of the multiverse and each one was in a different universe, protected by their own guardian. This is the story of Dream Tale, the universe where the tree of feeling lived, whose roots were apple, half black and half golden. The black one holds the negative feelings, hatred, resemblance, fear, depression, wrath, etc. While the golden ones hold the positive feelings, happiness, hope, gratitude, faith, pity, etc. Dream Tale had the tree of feelings. This one produced negative and positive feelings, which were sent to each universe so that life could natural keep sustaining. Without the existence of the tree, no being could never feel anything. Everyone would be like zombies, without any kind of emotion inside of them. This is why this tree is so important and why it is sacred. However, there were some people who obtained more negative feeling than what they should have gotten and they are invaded to damage the tree in order to obtain the golden apple. Since not only did they have power, but if you had one of them on your side, they will grant you enough confidence to do any kind of job without taking any failing risk even if the job was bad, like for example killing someone. One of these bad people were able to severely hurt the guardian of the tree, whose life was connected to the tree itself, meaning that if she died, the tree would die with her. The guardian killed the aggressor and she was starting to feel repulsed towards the mortal being. Her only choice so that there wouldn't die was to fuse with the tree and then she would save the life of it. But if she did that, the tree wouldn't have any guardians. Its fruit could be stolen with easiness. Scared because of all the blood that she was losing, she decided to use the magic of the tree to bring all the positive and negative energy that she could. And with those energy, she created life. Two light beings made with pure positive and negative energy. The little gold being was known as Dream, since he was a dreamer. And his brother, the dark purple being, was called Nightmare only because he was the complete opposite of Dream. The Guardians gave them two human bodies so that he could take them. But the energy were so big and since there were just a few escape roads, the bodies started to swell more and more until they exploded. It was very disgusting. The Guardian had to sink fast. She had to fuse as soon as possible. So. She explored with her mind other universes to find some vessels that she could copy and that it was suitable for those guardians. She formed a small skeleton in a universe called Underswap, which name was Sans. She hurried and copied the form of that skeleton into two empty replicates in front of the light energy who took the bodies quickly, filling them with life. T this time the energy had many escape routes due to the numerous hole that a skeleton could have. So it was under control. After the guardian was done with all of this, she fused with the tree. But the small skeleton didn't have anyone, so they passed the days talking to each other. They were brothers, they were always together, even to cover the even to cover the dry blood stain that the tree still had, they decided to create a yellow flag with a sun nightmare city and tie it to the tree. Everything was happiness for them. After all, nobody approached the tree. But Dream Tail started to get filled with more and more life. They created towns around the tree and everything changed for the worse. The tiny skeleton finally were alone. They sometimes heard the voice of their mother echoing as if she was still with them. 
that each other and slowly everything started to get filled with more and more people. A huge tower was being built near the tree due to the new construction of the world to the other beings. Everything was too rustic without technology and no kind of entertainment beside the land work. The kids were enjoying bug catching and they helped the adults. Humans and monsters cooperated but not everything was pink. Nightmare was always different. He was the most serious one. He didn't like playing and running like dream. He preferred to read books, the ones who the elder brought for his brother. He read them really fast. He loved reading that would let him escape from all the negative feelings. Because since he was a complete negative energy, a lot of lo loneliness, sadness and such kind of feelings were invading him. But the people didn't like what was different. They started to talk and whisper behind his back. He is weird. His name means something bad. He protects the bad side of the tree. He is evil for sure. But because people know that Dream would protect Nightmare, they always would distract Dream, taking him some other place where he wasn't around Nightmare. While others took advantage of that to throw things to Nightmare, rocks, books, anything, and tell him that he was weird and that nobody liked him. Of course, were some people against that, but they didn't do anything to avoid it. They turned their heads to the other side. Dream never knew about this. He tried to talk about his brother because of the bruises that he saw, but Nightmare lied to him. I'm okay. I, I just tripped. It was nothing. Nightmare intention wasn't to trick Dream. It was to protect him. He didn't want that his brother went to complain with the others and that they took revenge against him. He couldn't allow his brother to feel the same pain that he was feeling. One of the most peaceful days in Nightmare's life was a day with a big storm. Everyone sheltered for the rain while Dream needed to protect the tree. But even a protector was scared of lightning storms. While everyone had refuge, the twins sheltered under the tree, getting wet because of the rain. It sounds weird that two skeletons can feel cold, but they weren't skeleton after all. Only the surface shell was making them look like that. That night was the coldest one that they could remember. They were trembling and cold, and both of them were soaking wet. Nightmare, who took the big brother role, even though both of them were born at the same time, stood up and took the flag that dare put around the tree to give it to his brother, protecting him from the rain and telling him, don't be afraid of the lightning, this cape will protect you from everything. Dream hold it on to the flag and the words of his brother were like a magical spell that gave him strength and took his fear away. Ever since then, he always used that magical flag as a cape to remember the magical words of his brother. But the indiscriminate hate towards the guardian of negative feelings was growing from day to day. However, bit by bit, nightmares started to change. He was afraid. He started to think that everyone was bad, that everyone wanted to hurt him. The people that felt sorry for him started to change their opinion and join the hater. The guardian of negative feelings started to distance himself from everyone, even from his own brother. He cornered himself in the spot between the roots of the tree to feel fear every day, not being able to see any further from his own depression. The words of dream didn't work, nothing could make Nightmare happy. He distanciated everyone from himself and he was sobbing every day. Dream wasn't playing with anyone, he only wanted to stay close to his brother for the moment when he started to smile again, but the damage was so huge that it never happened again. Finally tired with fear and unsteadiness, Nightmare decided to show everyone that he wasn't bad, that he could be good, that he could protect the gold fruits just like his little brother and with this he would demonstrate that he wasn't bad, right? 
everything went wrong. The negative energy weren't supposed to touch the golden apples. The apples were contaminated and the trees started to rot while the fruits were all turning black like the negative apples. Everything was wasted only because he felt fear and oppression in his tiny soul. If only he had a friend. If only he had told Reem what was going on. All the pain that follows up would have been avoided. The sky grew darker, the birds stopped from chippering, the green leaves of the tree shivered and fell while its lock was turning dry with no life. The black apple were the only thing that started out, standed out in that rotten tree. The tree that was so full of life was dying due to all the negative energy that was flowing through it and consumed the tree. All the universes start to slowly lose any sign of positive feeling. Nightmare was really scared. He didn't want this to happen. He only wanted to show that he could take care of the golden apples. Just like Dream. He didn't know what to do. He wanted to do something to fix the tree. But his mind was blank. In a complete panic attack, he heard his mother that he was supposed to protect. Nightmare felt like a little kid who did something bad by accident and wanted to fix it, but didn't know how to do it. Dream, who left for a bit to help some people in trouble, looked at the sky and saw how the sky turned grey, turned dark, felt like something really bad had happened. And when he reached the tree and saw what happened, he felt almost as if something shattered inside of him. At least, not everything was lost. He took earlier a golden apple with him to help the ones in need. Terminally ill, if you ask. Maybe he could do something to heal the tree. His positive feeling wouldn't let him to lose hope. However, unlike Dream, the people started to get overflowed in negative feelings that the apple were giving to them. The feeling like the tree was never coming back. That nightmare destroyed the tree that was supposed to be giving them good feelings. And that now they could only live sad and negatively because of the big brother's fault. They started to group with the intention to go against the guardians of negative feelings. Their intention to hurt him, kill him if it was possible. Dream got scared. He couldn't let them hurt his dear brother. He tried to stop the people, but there were hundreds and he only was one. The people escaped and went to Nightmare. They didn't want to listen to the little brother. They pushed Dream and they walked above him without caring about troubling the guardian that was once their friend. The little brother ended up being trampled by the masses that were going against Nightmare. He had to accept his death. The negative guardian knew that his life had come to an end. And he was really scared. Was he born only to suffer? To end like this? But then, out of nowhere, Nightmare heard a voice. Get stronger. He heard a voice that came from not the tree, but from the black apples. It was the voice of a man, very different to his mother. Who was this guy? The voice said again, If you don't do something, you will die. Use the apple. Be strong. God in them. Nightmare knew that using the black apples was wrong. That they were too powerful, even for a guardian of pure negativity like him. But the fear of dying because of all these people that were coming closer to him was stronger. So... He bit the first apple. After the first one came the second. The third. The people started to halt once they saw that Nightmare was changing. Black lumps were coming out from his eyes, mouth, nose and parts of his clothes. Some people that approached to hurt him started to feel disgusted. Some others pity. The image was frightening. As Nightmare was eating more and more apples, his skull started to crack since it couldn't contain all the concentrated dark and negative energy. Nightmare's feelings started to change. He couldn't stop eating those apples. And his fear started to transform into hatred. An indifferent hate towards everyone and everything. A terrible pain traveled through his body. When he finished eating the last apple, he grew addicted to that big power that was consuming his feeling. Finally, the negativity energy was so big that not even the body of his skeleton could control it. Four tentacles of pure darkness suddenly grew from the back of his body. 
breaking along some ribs and causing him abhorrible pain. The screams of anguish from Nightmare made a lot of people step back while he was falling to the ground and started to puke the same black substance that was coming out from every fissure. Eyes, mouth, nose, ribs and more. Dream opened his eyes, still lying on the ground. He was fearing that the people might have hurt his brother. He would do anything to protect him. But what Dream saw was not his brother anymore. It was a being with so much evilness concentrated that it was disgusting. But that was it for today, with Dream Tale. This is the first part of a two-parter, where I tell the complete story from Joker Block's Dream Tale. Also, link to the original work is down in the description and in the comment box. But if you want to see more of my content, please check out my video about Horror Tale, which will appear right now, I don't know which side, probably the left side. And if you want even more content and want to know more about Dream Tale, please check out the other video. 